Every now and then, the UFC matchmakers book a fight that is guaranteed fireworks. Even in a game where the last thing you can make is guarantees, from time to time, it does happen. And although we've been let down in the past with the Derek Lewis and the Francis Nganos of the world, sometimes, when you see a booking, you just can't help but know for an absolute fact it's going to be bell to bell action, for however long it lasts. It seems as though we have another one of those contests to look forward to, as it was just announced that Donald Cowboy Cerrone is set to take on Justin Gaethje at UFC Fight Night in Vancouver in September. Anyone who's been following this sport, even for a little while, knows that fights that look good on paper don't always play out that way. We've been let down plenty of times over the years, anticipating an exciting and exhilarating contest because of the caliber and the style of fighter A and fighter B, only for it to end up being a total dull and forgettable affair. So you always have to remain cautiously optimistic with your expectations, no matter who you're dealing with. But even having that information ingrained in me from watching an untold number of fights over the years, I still cannot help myself with this fight. There's absolutely no way this one doesn't end up leaving us satisfied. Gaethje has proven time and time again what he's all about. A lot of people like to play the no fear, tough guy persona of being perfectly willing to stand inside the pocket and throw strikes with reckless abandon until someone falls. But very, very few actually stay true to that claim. And who could blame them? The prospect of doing such thing is terrifying even for the elite mixed martial artists. Not Justin Gaethje though. This is a guy that the vast majority of the fan base has absolutely no inclination whatsoever that has been wrestling since he was four years old. Was a two-time Arizona State champion in high school and an NCAA Division I All-American during his time at the University of Northern Colorado. But how could you know? Wrestling-based MMA fighters aren't typically known to be human highlight reels, especially not at the level Gaethje is. This is one of those qualities that he possesses that makes him an outlier. Has an NCAA Division I All-American title, and I've never seen this guy grapple for 15 seconds in my entire life. That's because he opts to give the fans what they want to see. With intense aggression and the ability to absorb an impossible amount of damage. To the point to where it becomes uncomfortable and kind of hard to watch. Never ever falling back on his wrestling. Even when being on the wrong end of a striking exchange, in moments that would not only save him physically, but potentially be the difference between winning and losing a fight, he stands his ground and takes his chances of being able to hit the target, which he often ends up doing a lot, by the way. Take one look at his record. With 20 wins, 17 of them are by way of KO slash TKO. Everybody loves Cowboy. How could you not? He's... As authentic as it gets, the nickname doesn't represent a gimmick, it represents who Cerrone is to the core. A great quality he has is that he's truly down to fight whenever and against whoever. And that's something else you'll hear all other fighters say, or at least a lot of them at one point or another. But he's a part of the very small percentile of professional MMA that truly means it when he says it, and more importantly, actually does it. The single and only caveat on whether or not Cowboy accepts a fight is if his grandmother's free and able to attend. I don't think it gets any more wholesome than that. And you're telling me that come September, Justin Gaethje and Donald Cowboy Cerrone are getting locked in a cage together? You're not going to have a hard time selling the fan base on this one. Hierarchy of contenders and title implications be damned. All we need to concern ourselves with is that this is two of the most entertaining fighters in the game, and they're set to clash. And it's going to be crazy as all hell.